Since I failed to open this properly the first time, we'll do it again. I'm gonna show you what comes inside a brand new Silverstone. Can't see it now. There we go. Silverstone, this is a SST AP112 RL, meaning red LED. And it's one of those a breakthrough computer fan with air channeling technology. Yeah. Alright. So as you can see, it's silver in this color. There's two models. Um, there's the one with the LEDs and there's one without and it has the glowing uh, UV fans. It has seven fans right there. As you can see, it's a very nice shade of silver. Silver stone, silver. And really nice solid design here. Let's see. Stupid card. Ah, making editing fun. This has the triple pin right there, as you can see. Let me make this quick. Adapter, rubber, metal. And I'm done. Let's go. So if you plan on using the uh, close the stock thing that comes with the um what's the name of this thing look at it, let me look at it, let me look at it, let me let me let me, let me look at it. Oh. I'm in a very tight space here uh the ATC um A40 there we go see couldn't remember until I looked at it this is that thing that comes with it you can put the fans inside it I recommend going ahead and using the normal screws that come with it on that side and on this side, especially with this thing, because these little rubber things can fit through it, but they're really hard to get in there, and this is a very tight angle, so it's just not worth the trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and try and put my own fan filters on top of this. Alright, put all that together. Looks real nice. Unfortunately, it covers up that silver, but that's okay. I'd rather have filters than silver. Fortunately, it's on this side of it, but whatever. I don't care. Actually, you know what? I got an idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these off and and undo it and put it on that side. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. So I got that hooked up in the back. I had to remove one of my um, thumb screws so that the wire could fit through. So I'm gonna plug that up in a second. I got one fan down there at the bottom that's gonna blow straight up. I got these two fans here and they're gonna blow straight back toward that fan which is gonna blow everything out. And that fan which blows everything out. And still got that fan on. The um, thing up there. All right, so let's hook it up. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. Here we go, go. All right, I've turned it on. Not much red light from there, but that's still cool. Everything else is still doing its thing. The airflow is pretty good. Um, I can get around on the side so you can see. There's the other two fans. The red looks really, 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 really nice. It doesn't glow outward, it just glows within it. It looks way better in person than it will on this. Actually, need to go on the Linux. Yeah. Well, nothing exciting there. I'm gonna have to get a few more of these. I like the red. It looks really, really cool. All right. Well, that's enough of that. I'm gonna take pictures.
So what's the verdict on these fans? <clears throat> these fans, these right here, that one, that one, you see it, you see it right there, that one, those fans, this one, this one right here, that one. That fan is loud. I mean, listen, listen, listen. That's really loud. But, on the other hand, when I started up the computer, it was at its regular 39, 38 degrees. And then that went back up to 64, that was at 40. But at first it was at like 30. <laughs> and it's not even that cold in here. It's how many degrees in here? It's 30 degrees right there. 27, um, that one's not working at the moment, but the inside of this case is 30, no, no, 27.4 degrees Celsius. That's a whole lot colder than usual. So it may not make everything colder, but the inside of that case is colder right now. Alright, well, I had enough. I'm tired. I'm going. <laughs>